Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shalom and I am back with another video. I posted a little sneak peek of this hair on my Snapchat and you guys love it. So today's video is actually sponsored by Beauty Forever. So this is basically like an Ailey Express um, hair company. Um, and today we actually going to be using their Malaysian curly hair. I have four bundles of 24 inches and one frontal which is 20 inch and honestly guys this hair is so beautiful i'm not even saying it you guys are going to see it and then after the processing it was just still really nice so as you guys can see the frontal looks amazing one thing about frontals that i noticed with curly hair um right on the um the roots is not curly it's always like this straightness and i don't understand why can it just be curly from the roots to, you know, make it a little realistic for me? Um, but other than that, the hair is absolutely beautiful. Just look at those bundles. I'm not showing you guys how to make this wig because I have plenty of videos on my channel that just show how I make my wig. So this is the wig. I ended up using three bundles instead of the four bundles and it fit so nice. Like I don't think I needed to put all of the bundles. So just in case if you are planning on getting this hair, I guess you can just try to get three bundles instead of the four bundles. So right now I am going to get the, re the hair ready to start bleaching and I'm just basically parting my frontal so that I wouldn't bleach it uh, while I'm bleaching the rest of the hair because you guys know the frontal is very fragile so you don't want to get that damaged. So I'm going to bleach that last after bleaching the rest of the hair. So I'm going to be using my BW powder and then a 30 volume developer. So I just basically mix this two together and got a thick consistency and just started applying it all over the hair and you want to make sure you saturate it because everything needs to be bleached we don't need any black peeking but yeah so that is basically what I do Okay, so after bleaching this hair, I just basically let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and I went ahead and shampooed it and conditioned it overnight. So when it's dry, this is basically what it looks like. I am actually quite surprised on how the hair is still holding its curls and the ends are really not dry at all. They're very well moisturized. I don't know if it's because of the conditioning, but look at the ends. They're still curly, like there's nothing straight about this, but I wasn't quite happy with the color. So I went ahead and bleached this hair for the second time. So this is basically what it looks like after the second bleaching. And mm, the curls quietly, they dropped. Oh, what? Quietly dropped. Um, Yeah, basically the curls did drop um, a bit. So it's not as tight at, as what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on my skin. I didn't like the color on my skin tone. So this is where, you know, the actual coloring comes in hand and basically I'm going to be taking this toner this is the 12th a toner so it's basically like an ash blonde um, so basically it's going to help um, decrease the brassiness or the oranginess of the color and makes it more of a cooler tone so I'm going to be mixing that with a 10 volume developer because some professional told me if you're toning, you're supposed to use a low volume developer. So 10 is the way to go. I learned something on YouTube. Thank you for watching my video and teaching me what to do. So I'm still learning though because I went ahead and poured the whole bottle and I applied the toner. And I mean, not the toner, 
the developer and I honestly did not measure it. I just kind of eyeballed it and just to mix it up. And yeah, I'm such a pro. I need to get better. I need to be better. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I went ahead and tied up the hair. So I'm basically going to be toning the end of the hair. I didn't tone all of the hair. It's basically half of the hair down that I toned. And then actually in the front, I took two, I mean, not two piece. I think I took a little bit of piece in the front and I'm actually going to tone that too because I want that to be blonde, but like the top of the hair is going to be a different color. Then now we're just going to go ahead and get into coloring the rest of this hair. So again, I'm going to be using my 10 volume developer because this color that we're going to use, we are going to need a developer. So this is basically a hair color that I got from Nigel Beauty. Or you can definitely find this at any beauty supplies and you do not have to use the same brand that I use. So this color is called 6RC and it's basically described as a dark copper red blonde it's so confusing like dark red blonde yeah that's that's what it's described as um so that i'm going to be mixing that and then applying it on the rest of the hair and i kind of make sure i make sure i blend it with the first color so that we don't get the line of demarcation everything is like seamlessly together um and then i went ahead and took this wig and i actually put it outside in the sun now i'm not exactly sure if that helps the hair process faster but i only left it out for 10 minutes and then i went ahead and shampooed it and conditioned and i conditioned my hair with the cantu i'm actually just trying it um the cantu conditioner and i also have the cream which i use after um the hair was dry and i just kind of you know um, put it on the hair to kind of define the curls back into the hair um, Yeah, and it smells really bomb. So this is gonna be my dear thing to be using for curly hair um, So guys, this is what the hair looks after it naturally dried outside That's the word right naturally dried outside. Yeah, basically I didn't put any like heat on it This is it dry by itself, but basically guys, this is the color. I love it because I feel like it's such a natural color that you can wear anywhere it's not super dramatic especially for my sisters that are not dramatic but i find that this color really looks amazing on my skin tone it just really makes my melanin pop and just glow and yeah i just went ahead and put some braids on my hair on the wig and guys the glue that i use to glue down my wig down to my head is called bolt hold i'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description bar down below and also the link of this hair if any of you guys are interested in purchasing the curly hair but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video and remember to always always be your own kind of beautiful bye bye my dears and if you decide to recreate this look make sure you tag me on instagram so i can see it bye